Good morning, Mossville Warriors. Today is Friday, February 24th, 2023, and today is National Skip the Straw Day. On the fourth Friday in November, the Coral Keepers ask you to consider a different way on National Skip the Straw Day. For thousands of years, humans have enjoyed slurping a refreshing beverage through a cylindrical tube. If Marvin Stone, the inventor of the first paper straw in 1888, were alive today, he might be shocked to know of the five large areas of the ocean called gyres, where plastic garbage collects. The sea's currents create vortexes trapping plastics, and in the collection are plastic drinking straws. Straws and other plastics cause harm to marine life in many ways. Birds, fish, and other sea life consume plastics accidentally and when they mistake it for food. Plastics don't biodegrade. They break down into smaller and finer microscopic pieces. When plastics break down, they produce bisphenol A, BPA, which interferes with reproductive systems in marine life. It also produces styrin monomer, which is a suspected carcinogen. According to the National Park Service, Americans use 500 million drinking straws daily. So on National Skip the Straw Day, that's potentially 500 million fewer straws that won't end up in landfills or the ocean. Will everybody please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for Regis Dance, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. As a Mossville warrior, I pledge to do my best today and to be the best I can be. At Mossville School, I am respectful, responsible, and safe. This is the Warrior Way. Our SEL focus continues to be dignity. Today, we're going to continue looking for those students who maintain their dignity even when you are not feeling respected. Just a reminder that 7th and 8th grade cannot play football, but 6th grade also is not allowed to play football based on conversations earlier this year. So grades 6th, 7th, and 8th are not allowed to play football at recess. Now for our daily reminders with Officer Pickles. Everybody, it's Sergeant Pickles. I'm making sure you kids bring your lunch card every day and avoid them zeros. If not, we're going to have major consequences, so don't mess with Sergeant Pickles. Pickles, out. We have a number of birthdays this weekend. We have Miss Falk, Miss Peterbaugh, Mrs. Collier, and Maggie Larson in seventh grade, all having birthdays today. On the 25th, we have Mrs. Brown, and on the 26th, we have Bryson Bridgewater in sixth grade. So we hope Miss Falk, Miss Peterbaugh, Miss Collier, and Maggie have a wonderful birthday today, and that Mrs. Brown and Bryson have a wonderful birthday weekend. Students of the week. This week, students were being recognized for displaying dignity even when they are not feeling respected. The students are, in fourth grade, Ryder Peralt. In fifth grade, Lucy Slaughter, Aiden Donnelly, and Ireland Pesh. In sixth grade, Aaron Braun, Annabelle Myers, and Levi Hansard. In seventh grade, Leland Joseph, Tristan Howell, and Liv Gorman. And in eighth grade, Eli Dalton, Kaylee Gowitz, and Ava Himlin. Congratulations to all these students, and we appreciate you carrying yourself in a dignified manner. Team results. The Mossville Warriors volleyball team took on CEC last night and celebrated the 8th graders' last game at home. All teams won to sweep CEC. Way to go, Warriors! This day in history. On this day in 1803, the U.S. Supreme Court first rules a law unconstitutional in the case of Marbury v. Madison. This decision by the Supreme Court brought forward judicial review, which allows the courts to rule if certain laws do not follow the U.S. Constitution. Activities Day, we've got volleyball practice at 3.30. Tomorrow, on the 25th, we have our jazz band traveling to Rolling Meadows for the Jazz Festival. Good luck, Warriors. Now for some jokes for Mossville students. Today, we have A.J. Vissering and Coralie Winters. What's green and has wheels? What? Grass. We lied about the wheels. Now for hot lunch with Chef Ravioli. Hi, everybody. I'm back again, and today we'll be having cheese and pepperoni pizza, grilled cheese and four the sides, we have green beans, baby carrots, banana, and fruit mix. Our chef ravioli joke today is, what do you call a sleeping bull? A bulldozer. Ha 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 ha. And remember, it's a great day to be a warrior.